Hey Cade, um, my camera's about to fall. Um, I know I was supposed to upload something yesterday, but I forgot, so I'm just gonna do this today. Um, I have to talk kind of quietly because my brother is trying to sleep. I'm just gonna move this camera out. Quickly. Okay, there. That should probably make it a bit better. Um, there's not really a lot going on. Um, except for the fact that Harry Potter is tomorrow and I'm like about to sob. Um, so, Harry Potter's tomorrow and I'm going to the night premiere. Um, and I'm gonna be going in like Harry Potter get up. Like, I don't really have a lot for it. Like, I have a cloak, but it's kind of a piece of shit. So. It's like one of those ones that you get at Walmart for like 10 bucks. Like, my friend gave it to me and, um, like, I would wear it. I don't really want to. So I'm just gonna wear like a white collared shirt and then black pants and then time turner and wand. And I'm probably gonna bring my um, Philosopher's Stone pop up book. I'm trying to get into the habit of saying Philosopher's Stone because I'm so used to it being um, Sorcerer's Stone. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go into like uh, my. Like, I guess you could say, like, experience with Harry Potter. Um, and for the people who are watching this that are like, Oh, Harry Potter sucks, like, fuck Harry Pothead, or whatever. Like, one, fuck you, and two, stop watching this video, because I don't want any, like, fucking hateful comments that are like, Harry Potter's stupid, and Twilight's better, or some stupid shit like that. Like, I don't f give a fuck. You've probably, like, you wouldn't know how good Harry Potter is, if you've never read the books. Also for the people that consider themselves fans but have never read the books, fuck you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, but good that you've seen the movies and all, you know, they're decent, but uh, go read the books because you're not a fan until you've read the books. Um, anyways, so, well, I was never really, like, as a kid, because um, I think I, I think the first book came out <coughs> In 1998, right? I don't know. I'm just going to assume that it was that. I'm pretty sure. And I was born in 1998. I think it came out like... I don't know. I think it came out after February of 1998, but I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, but I was born in February 1998. And then, um... Fuck. I totally just lost my of thought. Sorry. But anyways, but I was never like... I mean, obviously, I was too young to read the books, so, I mean, I would watch the movies. Um, because, like, as a kid, I wasn't really that big of a reader, and now I'm that far in, uh, rereading Deathly Hallows. I need to finish it, but, um, that's not even my book, that's my brother's. But, um, but speaking of my brother, he was a big fan of Harry Potter, he still is, so he would, like, you know, um, like go get the movie movies books whenever they were like first came out and then he would go to midnight premieres of movies I think I don't know but I would just wait until like my mom bought uh, the movies on DVD and then just watch that and we almost have all of them we don't have number six or part one of seven and obviously not part two because not even out yet um so yeah but then uh last summer in like August or something so it was like right before, like the month of school but before school started uh, I was at the mall with one of my now ex-friends and we met these people who were cosplaying and we were like oh shit you guys are like I like I, I said um I said they were cosplaying Death Kid but I meant to say Death Note um, and then I was like fuck I meant Death Note and they were actually cosplaying from Italia um and I've been friends with all of them ever since and uh one of them was like a huge Harry Potter fan. Well, I mean, like they all were, but like she was like she was the one that like convinced me to read Harry Potter, so I did. <clears throat> and that was this past year. Um, so, like the year before last, I read Twilight because my friend forced me to. And I'm sorry, but that series is terrible in my opinion. Like I just I don't like how it was written, and I just didn't. I just don't like that series, but that's just my own personal opinion. Um, and I know I'm being a hypocrite, like saying like 
I mean, like, you can voice your opinion, but, like, like, for the people that were gonna, like, comment or something and say, like, Harry Potter sucks, like, well, that's something really, you know, that changed my life, and, I mean, I'm being a huge hypocrite, but I don't really care, but, I mean, am I a person, like, I just don't like Twilight. If you don't like Harry Potter, but you've never read it, then, then I have every reason to say fuck you. If you've tried to read it, but, like, you didn't like it, okay. But, I mean, like, I read the whole entire Twilight series, and I still don't like it. So, I have every reason to say I don't like Twilight. And, yeah. But anyways, getting back on topic. So, my brother has all the books in the series, and that Deathly Hallows is his. Um, I actually remember whenever we were on our huge 80-day trip, because, like, my mom died, and then we went on this, like, huge 80-day trip, and, um... And, uh, we stopped at a Walmart one time, and Andrew, my brother, went in and got Deathly Hallows, and that's, like, most, or something that I remember from the trip, but that's for another vlog. <coughs> and then, um, so, I read all the Harry Potter books, and, I mean, like I said, I always really liked the movies, like, I mean, after reading the book, I mean, and looking back on the movies, it's like, Ooh, this is kind of bad. They are leaving out this and all that crap, and it was like. But uh, yeah. So <clears throat> now the last movie is coming out tomorrow, and it's painful because I'm not ready for it to end. I mean, there's Pottermore and all that stuff, but it's like it's not really gonna be the same because I mean the magic is still there, but it's just like. It's confusing, and for the fellow Harry Potter fans who are watching this, who have read all the books, is what I mean by fans, and have seen, like, all the movies that are out, and, like, all that stuff, like, I mean, you know how I feel. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm just not ready for it. I mean, I'm rereading the series, I'm on, like, I've reread, um, one, two, and three. Um, I'm reading two for a third time because that's the actual book that I own for myself because all the other books that I've read um, are my brother's. And then I'm on page 193 in book four. I haven't reread book five or six yet. And then I'm on page 284 in Deathly Hallows as for rereading that one. But I'm just not ready for this, man. I'm like about to cry. I mean, I'm not ready for it. And, I mean, it's insane, like, and one of my friends mentioned, um, and he's read all the books, he was like, well, if it went on for, like, a couple more movies, it would be really annoying. And that's, that's a good point. It would be kind of weird if the Harry Potter series went on for a couple more movies, but, I mean, it's just, like, it's so weird, because, oh my god, I remember I was on Tumblr, and, um, there was this gif and it said 100 more days until the final, the epic finale, and now it's like, it's tomorrow, and that's fucking crazy. But I'm gonna get off here, because this, this is taking me way too long, and I didn't expect this video to be this long, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go and go sob in a corner, because <laughs> I'm not ready for this to end, but I'll see you in your next video, Cade.